Are you looking for the best large format 3D printers? In this video we will look at some of the 5 best 3D printers on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Sovel SV04. If you are looking for a capable large format 3D printer that is also accessible, then the Sovel SV04 is one of the best. It has a large build volume of 300 by 300 by 400 mm and comes with direct drive extruders, a removable magnetic flex plate, and good firmware. It had a few firmware issues at launch, but those have been fixed. But probably the most attractive feature of the Sovel SV04 is the IDX capabilities which means that the printer has two print heads allowing you to print with two different materials or colors. The print quality is great, but the machine is a bit noisy and takes a bit more space compared to other printers out there. If you have the budget for this printer, and don't really require the IDX capabilities right now, I still recommend getting it as it's nice to have the possibility of printing with dual colors. I am sure that at some point you will have a use for it. It's also useful to have dual print heads if you plan to print models that require extensive support material, as you can use soluble support material that dissolves in water. Right now, the Sobel SV04 is probably the best IDX 3D printer you can get without spending a lot of money. At Number 2. Artillery Sidewinder X2. The Artillery Sidewinder X2 earned a place in this top 5 large format 3D printers article because it's still a good option when looking for such printer because of its price point and the hardware configuration. It has a 300 by 300 by 400 mm build volume, a Titan direct drive extruder clone with a Volcano clone hotend, auto bed leveling with a BL touch clone, and fast AC bed heating. There are multiple reports online where people complain about the consistency or performance of the auto bed leveling sensor so I hope that issue was solved since launch. The heat bed is fast, but the bed temperature uniformity is not great and that might be an issue when printing large models in filaments like PTG or ABS. This issue can be mitigated with careful placement on the print surface but it's still an issue to keep in mind. Overall, the Sidewinder X2 is easy to set up, has a clean design using ribbon cables and is one of the more silent machines you can get right now. The artillery community is quite large, replacement parts can be easily found online and there are multiple mods you can apply to the machine to make it even better. I recommend reading my Sidewinder X2 review to learn more about it. I also recommend reading my Sidewinder X2 upgrades article to see what upgrades you can do to the machine and what issues need to be fixed. At Number 3. Anycubic Cobra Max. If you need even more print volume, then the Anycubic Cobra Max is the winner without a doubt. It has a huge 400 by 400 by 450 mm print volume which should be more than enough for really big 3D printing projects. Just keep in mind that you need quite a lot of space for it. It has a BMG dual drive extruder in a Bowden setup with a V6 Volcano hot end clone. The hot end is also used as an auto bed leveling sensor which makes leveling quite easy. A glass carborundum print surface is used which has excellent adhesion, and the heat bed is also insulated to help the printer be a bit more power efficient. Print quality is good, and the overall noise generated by the machine is not something to be worried about. I covered a lot more information about the Cobra Max in my review, so I strongly recommend reading it if you need such a large machine. Considering the excellent price point of about 500 US dollars. At number 4. Creality Ender 5 Plus. Another good option when looking for a large format 3D printer in 2022 is the Creality Ender 5 Plus. Even though the machine is already a couple of years old, it has been upgraded over time with a newer 32-bit board with silent stepper drivers making it quieter during operation. It has a large 350 by 350 by 400 print volume in a cube format and the bed will only move on the z-axis. This translates into better print quality at higher printing speeds compared to regular Cartesian 3D printers. The main drawbacks of the Ender 5 Plus are the lower performance single gear extruder and hot end which are not as good as what you get with newer machines, but those can be upgraded if you want to. A Biku H2 extruder set in a direct drive setup should solve this issue without spending a huge amount of money. The heat bed also takes a bit longer to heat up, and the lack of bed insulation can contribute to the time it takes to reach printing temperature, but that also can be solved with a cheap insulation material upgrade. 
More information about the Ender 5 Plus can be found in my review, but keep in mind that I reviewed one of the earlier models which came with the old board. Overall, I think the Ender 5 Plus can still be a good alternative for a large format 3D printer, as long as you understand that the machine requires a bit of work and some money to make it great. If you are up to the task, then I see no reason not to get one, especially if you can find it at a discount. The Tronxy X5A could also be a similar alternative, available for a better price, but I haven't tested it so I can't say for sure if it's worth the money. At Number 5. Creality CR10 Smart Pro. I recently reviewed the Creality CR10 Smart Pro and I had very good results with it. The machine is probably the best equipped large format 3D printer in 2022 as it comes with most upgrades you can think of. It has a magnetic PI printing surface, the excellent Sprite Pro Direct Drive Extruder with all-metal hot and capable of printing up to 300C, autobed leveling with the CR Touch sensor, an LED light, smart capabilities and also includes a webcam. But all these features come at a cost which makes the CR10 Smart Pro one of the more expensive machines out there. If you have the budget for it, then I don't think you will be disappointed by it as print quality is great and consistent. I never had a failure in the 10 days of printing I did for the Nutcracker model printed during the review period.